Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. And I was sorting some of my drawers out there and I've been moving, I was moving my Ashley's about and I, I thought this would make a nice wee video. One, because this one's just new to me and just this little collection are uncommon Ashley Harrison knives. Now, that's not saying there, there's not more out there, but I, I, I literally don't know, but they're, they're unusual because none of them have an Ashley Harrison stamp on them although they're made by Ashley Harrison. Now, he also makes for Arthur Aid as well. But these are just uncommon ones that you're not going to see very much of. Let's this, this here one is just a perfect example of being at the, the right place at the right time. And this is nothing to do with knowing Ashley. Or any, this is how you can pick up a knife every now and then from Ashley and you'll get them at reduced prices. This is one that it's a prototype. So... When he was making this, this is one of my most used knives. I absolutely love it. And it's just a, a basic spear point, but it's in, you know, it'll, it's going to be in uh, usually 01 when he's doing them, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it'll just be C75 or something like that. But this has got oak, oak barrel uh, wooden handle, which is just beautiful. It's just got a straight back and brass and steel liners. Just a beautiful knife, but the difference is it's got an easy open. Uh, now, Ashley calls him something else, and I can't think what it is off the top of my hand. But this is a beautiful Ashley Harrison knife. And I picked this up, and anybody could have done, because it was just advertised on Facebook, and I or Instagram, I should say, and I just happened to be the first, one of the first ones there. There was, I think it was maybe four that day, I can't remember. No, two probably. But I, I bought this one. I was first there, and I bought this one. Um, for £50 and it's just a beauty it's got a hollow ground nice and thin to the edge just a stunning knife and I love the easy open my third finger just sits in that perfectly and it's so secure in my hand love this knife I just think it is an absolute beauty very simple knife but beautiful nonetheless so there's the first one down now this one I just got in yesterday. I'll do a video of this one, but this is a uh, a gun stock. And as you'll see on the handle, it's got Arthur Wright and Son. It's not got Ashley's name on it. And sometimes Ashley will make knives for other, you know, for people in a special order. Uh, but this one, I believe, was made by him. Uh, but it is just beautiful with burl. Look at that burl wood on there. Absolutely stunning. Look at the back spring. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Now it's half raised there, so it maybe looks a bit dodgy. But there's not a bit of light getting through in between any of that. It is stunningly made knife. Everything is smooth over. And you got that lovely, quite unusual gunstock pattern, but in hand. Now this hasn't got a very strong spring uh, compared to a lot of Ashley knives, but it's strong enough. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good, good spring, good retention. But it's a beautiful little lamb's foot or sheep's foot well no i would call that a lamb's foot nearly isn't it yeah lamb's foot but just beautiful and this has got mirror polished blades which is not something you see a lot of uh with ashley he doesn't do a lot of mirror polished finish but i think it looks beautiful now whether this was a one-off or he made a whole batch i have no idea um and i would say that it's Going to be carbon steel C70 or something like that. Again, I'm not sure. It might be O1 that actually normally does. Um, but just beautiful. And I could ask him, but I, it doesn't really matter. Like I keep saying, steel really doesn't matter. Um, I like having the O1 on Ashley's Customs, but on something else, um, this one I, I, I got off um, Facebook group. Um, I paid about £65 for this, which I'm more than happy to do. I think it is a stunning knife. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've just put a nice edge on it, one of my edges on it, and it's really nice. Just a beautiful cam tang, no half tank, no half stamp, and beautifully centred. I'm just trying to look at it's a little tiny bit off to the show, the show side here, but nothing that's going to annoy me in the slightest. It doesn't rub, or it probably never will, in my experience of Ashley Nice. But I love that. I'll do a video close up on that very shortly. This one now, look at this stag. Now, this is genuine stag, but it has also been dyed. This person got actually to make him this knife 
so that he could practice and this new I don't know if it was coffee or so I'm not sure what he used but honestly it's one of the nicest pieces of dyed stag I have ever seen on any knife it is stunning it's got a rich chocolatey muck it's just everything it is just beyond look how lovely the stag was itself I'm not sure what type of a colour it would have been look at it up here probably more of the the white and grey type stag that we would normally get here but I just honestly that is beautiful so this was a friend of Ashley and I bought it off him he'd got Ashley to do it this is a pattern you're not going to see with two sheep foots on it but I had just an unusual knife and I had to buy it just had to buy it beautiful snap and really you can tell the workmanship look at that beautiful finish these are just exceptional and like I'm buying them at prices that, that are just so reasonable and if you've been around my channel, you know I've got this one. This is a prototype, one of two that he'd done uh, at the time. I don't know whether he's done any more. Uh, I, I don't think he did. This was the very first one he tried to have a go at. And it's tight, it's beautiful, but the brass here, he was still working on trying to perfect this. And it's just maybe the half then is not finished as good as it would do. And it was sold to me at a price that I just couldn't resist. Um, but a very unusual knife apart from that tiny little defect which he did, I'm sure he sorted out now this was the prototype so there's no name on this one whatsoever um, but I just had to have this had to have it it was beautiful I think this was only something like a hundred and they get a custom prototype that you know there's n literally no other defect just than this with the, the the spring sits a little bit higher <laughs> Just that wouldn't bother me in the slightest. Not whatsoever. Um, and this is a, a, a for fighting roosters or fighting hens or chickens or whatever they call them things that fight in the ring. This was for using on them. I think Case came out with the original one. But this is Ashley's version of it with a chopper. It has a saw blade, a hacksaw blade, which is a genuine hacksaw blade cut down. Ashley made all this. And then they're just a lovely spear point look at that for a beautiful knife and again this stag although not dark you can see a bit more of the burning on this side but it's just beautiful and a knife that i'll cherish really cherish forever so there's four unusual knives and they're unusual because two of them are marked arthur wright and son and two of them are not marked at all so if you're going to buy something like that make sure you check it out I trusted the people who I was buying off, so I have no problem with that. No problem. Uh, and no matter what the prices you're paying for them, that I paid for them, I would happily have paid for just a basic one. So take that for what it is. They're beautiful knives. I'm glad I've got them in my collection. These will not be moving. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a lovely Saturday, and I'll see you all very shortly. Bye now.